There's a new blockbuster movie out, Contagion. It's a scary story of a global flu epidemic. What's most frightening about this film is that flu epidemics are real and they can spread quickly. The average person touches their face three to five times every waking minute. During the recent outbreak of the H1N1 virus, seven million people were infected by their coworkers. I need you to get me the names of everyone who serviced this room. It's an emergency. The people you're about to see aren't actors. They are some of the 44 million Americans who don't have a single paid sick day. As a public health official, I know the best thing to do when you're ill is to stay home. In our country, everyone has the right to stay home when they're sick. They just don't have the right to get paid or to keep their job. By supporting paid sick days, we can help prevent a real life contagion. Raising a family of five with one income, we're always really strapped. I cannot afford to lose a day's pay. So if I have to choose between going to work sick or having money to keep the lights on and food in my fridge, then I have to go to work sick. In the last year, I've had laryngitis twice. I had a viral upper respiratory infection that lasted about three weeks. And I've worked every single time I was sick. It's really a hard situation because you don't want to be there. You're not very productive when you're sick and you don't want to make other people sick, but you know that you don't have a choice. I have brought my own tissues and extra hand sanitizer, but no one wants to see the person that's scanning their lettuce blow their nose five seconds before you get to their check stand. It's not an appropriate way in my mind to do business. And it's a really hard situation to work when you feel like your work has no value and that you have no value. I'm fortunate that I have kids that are very understanding. There's times when kids are sick and they really just want their mom. And they don't get to have that because no matter what, mom's at work. And if I'm not at work, I'm doing something that hopefully is gonna have us a better life someday. One where it's not paycheck to paycheck, day to day, moment to moment. We never know if we're gonna have enough. I got a relatively severe cold around Christmas time last year. Things were already really tight as usual, financially. I woke up the morning when it was at its worst and I had to make a decision. It was the end of the month, so I knew I was gonna have to pay January's rent soon. I had to buy some groceries. It was an eight hour shift, I couldn't give that up. I couldn't sacrifice that. Ese día estaba con mucha fiebre. No llamé porque yo sabía que no me iban a aceptar, que no fuera a trabajar. Fui a trabajar con 40 de fiebre, con mucho catarro. Eh, me sentía mal, realmente tenía mucho dolor en el cuerpo. Manipulando alimentos que podía pasar, que podían contaminarse esos, esos alimentos que iban a comer los, los, los clientes del restaurante, pero tuve que hacerlo, tuve que ir a trabajar así porque no tenía otra alternativa. The whole back of the house was sick. And I was telling myself, thank God I'm in the front of the house because I'm not going to catch your germs. But somehow they spread it around. So it seemed like when the back of the house was okay, then the front of the house got sick. It's, it's weird how that the ripple effect happens, even if you try to prepare yourself and take extra vitamins to, you know, keep the germs away. Of course, we try to wash our hands as much as possible, but it's hard constantly if you're busy. I can't afford to take off, and it's hard to call someone else in for you. It's a lose-lose situation. The reason I do this job is so my kids go to school and come home safely. They can come in healthy, they can go home healthy. I am a single mother of a beautiful son, but my son has some medical issues. He's been hospitalized because of it. It could kill him. A couple of years ago, he was out about 14 days out of school. And when he's sick, I have to run back and forth between school bus runs. I cannot afford to take any time off of work. If I had paid sick days, it would change my life immensely. Uh, first of all, my son would have me there 
to take care of him the way he needs to be taken care of. I could stay home and take care of myself. I wouldn't be affecting all these beautiful little children that come to me all happy and healthy and smiles, and I'm not gonna be sending them home all sniffling and coughing. This should be a national law. We don't just infect our children or our mom or whoever lives in our house. We infect the whole public. 